Welcome back to Everyday Struggle and Complex Views. I'm Nadaska here with Wayno and DJ Academics. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Act nice outfit What's today. Up? Act flamed up today, man. You want suwoo time today. Charged up. Charged up. Charged up. Charged up. Okay? Charged up. All right, so we didn't get a Drake disc response yet, right? But you said what deadline is weekend, Saturday? Yeah, well, I'm, well you got to drop it throughout the weekend. By Monday, if he ain't, if he ain't dropping it, man. We're going to start revving up the hearse, and we're going to really take this one home with a nice, sweet song, Hold On, We're Going Home. If, if you don't drop a response, <laughs> we singing Hold On, We're Going Home to the Cemetery for this beef. Right. And we're going to have to give it to Pusher, man. I'm sorry we got to call a spade a spade. All, All right. right, but I think we feel pretty confident that this is going to come, right? But in yeah. the meantime... I heard it's recorded. It's real rap. I heard, I heard there's a track already recorded. So he's just timing right now. Yes, yeah, timing and also he's not looking too good. Again, you, you want to make sure you drop the track when people... They're not thinking already like it's over, or they're thinking you're a deadbeat dad, you know what I mean? So, or <laughs> memes are, uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie, these memes are crazy. Did you see the Brenda's Got a Baby meme? Where they, you remember the movie, the video Brenda's Got a Baby Two Five Drink, where they throw the baby in the garbage? Like, it's just too, it's out of hand, wow. yo, it's getting crazy. All right, look, the disrespect was crazy, but he hasn't addressed any of that yet, but the blackface issues clearly getting to him, maybe hurting his business. So he did address this on his Insta story, saying it was actually taken during his acting days. He said, me and my best friend at the time, who's also an actor from Sudan, were attempting to use our voices to bring awareness to the issues dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry. Basically, he said he was trying to make a point that the struggle for black actors is real. It hasn't changed much out here. Are you guys surprised he's addressing this before dropping his response? I am. Um, and he dropped it on his Instagram story. He wrote it from his notes. Like, brother, stop it. I feel like he took he should have put it in a record. Honestly, like what what do we need a what do we need a response for right now? Nobody cares, nobody cares about this response. Like it's cool to see, but this is the first time we ever seen like a written out testimonial. So be- hey y'all, this is the reason why I was doing this in a rap battle. Nah, I'm not jagging. It seems like it's because his money's probably in trouble. This is when brands come calling, right? All the other beef is cool, but blackface, probably bad for money. Ack? Nah. This is just Drake finally, like, he used to be the guy that goes online. Drake is always online. And he's usually seeing someone else getting fired up. And that nigga's ass is getting tore up by the internet. Internet has no loyalty. He probably thought, okay, I got this big pop fan base. They're not going to turn me into the, the, the guy who's getting memed out of here and Toss the fuck out. Yes, he's he's getting that treatment. And also, he's learning the, the, the cruel reality of, listen, Pusha T has now put that into the air. He's asked the right questions. He had the great setup, the blackface thing. People are going to take it however they take it. And I know you're saying address it in the record. For him to really contextually address it, he had to kind of do this. But the mere fact that he had to shows already what he's thinking. Again... I didn't think, like, of course, you know what I mean? And I don't know if you thought initially that it was, like, some racial or racist thing. Because I'm like, Drake is so black, you know what I mean? But. (laughs) Perception's everything. Yeah, yeah. But it just shows where Drake is at now. Mm -hmm. He's writing up notes. He should be writing bars. Or at least. (laughs) He's on the road. He should have a shared note with the ghostwriters that they could come up with the fire bars, man. I don't know why he's over here writing this type of shit. Again, this doesn't matter to me too much, the blackface thing. I just want to hear the goddamn response. Right, but all it showed me is, like I said yesterday, he's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. He has to do something. All right, he's not ready to drop the song yet, Mm -hmm. right? It's not the right time to drop it yet. So he had to throw something out there to kind of clean shit up. Like I was saying yesterday, he has him on the ropes. This shit is disturbing a lot of different things for him. Yeah. We didn't see this coming. Like, we knew that a push of T, this was coming. But now we're getting to see firsthand that Superman has some kryptonite in his life. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought Ak made a good point. When Drake dropped Duppy Freestyle, we're like, push is dead, it's over. When Pusha came back, it's like, Drake's dead, it's over. This yeah. just keeps happening. So he could have addressed this in a song in three days, and it's cool. This seems like there's money involved. It, it, well, you know what I mean? We, we are all prisoners of the moment. If Drake dropped tonight, trust me, it's a tough weekend for Pusha T till he drops again. It's going to be that back and forth. The good thing is that I think both of them, they have the skill set where they could change the tide because... You know Drake ain't gonna put out some whack, right? And of course, Pusha clearly just showed, listen, not only am I coming with the facts, but also I'm coming with the bars too. So it's gonna go back and forth. With Drake though, and seeing how he's treating this, I see his daddy on Instagram going yeah, we're wild. We're disturbing the peace. We're getting this to Dennis is, too. Disturbing the this peace. This is watching a comedian 
it's like it's, it's the equivalent in my eyes of watching a comedian like bomb and he's losing control of the crowd and he's trying to save it. Like Drake Kramer. is trying to save it. Drake is trying to save it. He's like, whoa, 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 hold up. You're not supposed to flip on me yet. Whoa, hold up. You get me? He was on top of the mountain after Duffy Freestyle, but he's trying to control so, the perception, which clearly is going in um, the opposite way. The two things that that has to, had to be addressed was the blackface thing, and of course now the kid. My thing is, nigga, you better you should send a DNA test, like the little paternity test. Put that on your story. What? Real what? talk. I don't want to see this. Act, yes, I want to. Act. Could, the, could he rap about some DNA act. tests? I don't want to hear you rap about you. I watched Ag video blog yesterday, right? The jersey does. I watched the whole shit, the whole 13 minutes. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of shit that I was feeling, he was saying, he just was saying it in a different way. He wasn't being as aggressive. Now he's backtracking. So right? you're team pushing well, wait, now. No, no, is that no. what's happening? But, it's not team pushing, I'm but you got to call. Let, let me, this is the difference between me and Wayno. Oh, here we go. <laughs> when W Freestyle drops, this guy still. I didn't say it was trash. Uh, no, no. I didn't say what it was What I'm saying is that you ain't give it up. Ain't you ain't give it up. up to Drake, man. I didn't give it up. You ain't give it I up to give Drake. It up. You got to give it up. You feel me? Like, Pusha did his I said, thing. No, I said it. I'm giving it up. No, you I gave it up. Give it, no, it up. I, what I gave, now, here's the thing. Wait a second, act. I gave it up to Drake. I said, yo, this shit is good. I said, yo, this shit is good, but it's not a body. That's what I said. I didn't think I it was a body. I can confirm what happened. Okay, 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 I said it was good. Okay. I said it was really good. All right, let me ask you a question. Ask me a question. Because you're saying it now. You're saying that Drake is on the ropes. Yeah. Was push on the ropes depending on his response before we heard it, after Duffy Freestyle? I felt that Pusha, he was somewhat on the clock, because the people put him on the clock. We said it's all about perception. Right. So they put him on the clock. Now, for me, I was, I was chilling. I was like, I'm cool. I'm going to wait for this. I didn't think no, no, that no, okay, it was going to be okay, over, okay. I didn't, and I didn't know what was going to happen. But but do you feel like whoa Drake kind of came a little hard? I did. Look, He's kind of on the listen, ropes. I'm gonna tell you when. All right, if you have look, the same look, feeling, you straight. No, look, look. I'm but, tell but you, you, I all feel right, like look, you were confident you saying no. Sent, it was in the group chat, right? Y'all sent it in the group chat. Which the diss or the the, the um, Duppy freestyle? Mm. Well, you were arguing. I was at my you. son's basketball game. I'm at my son's basketball. You game. Called a timeout. I called a timeout. <laughs> You're absolutely <laughs> fucking right. I call, I'm sitting here. I'm like, oh shit. I put my headphones on. I didn't even look at the game. I'm sitting here listening to this shit. I was like. Oh shit, Drake really responded fast because I'm not used to it. He wants to call two timeouts. It's two minutes long. He wants to be like, hold up, man, I need another timeout, man. Drake. No, look, but I said it. I went on I went on my Twitter and I said it. I said it in the group chat. This shit is good, but it's not a body. Because Chops, Chops is like, oh my God, it's a body. It's over for your man. Okay, okay. Da, 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 da. All right, well, I, listen, I just want fairness. Do you think Pushes push is, is a body? I think Pushes is a body. I feel like he made nah. that clear yesterday. I, I That's what you guys thought about for 20 now, minutes. Now, what I feel, now, now, I get what you're saying about the whole shit. Yo, we all prisoners at the moment, to an extent, because I feel mm -hmm. like I've seen this happen with even when Jay-Z was super ugly. Mm -hmm. When uh, when um, Hove did super ugly right after Ether, they was like, yo, it came too soon, and the way he went about it. Now, like I said, I'm not, I'm not pushing for Drake to respond tonight or tomorrow or none of that shit nah. because I feel like get to it you an album mode get to like it <laughs> with Pusha with a, a dude like Pusha you gotta take your time mm -hmm. with rapping this is why I said the whole shit goes back to bars he needs to calculate his bars he needs to get his fucking shit lined up so he can knock it down the right way because if he doesn't wait if wait. he does wait don't talk about the prisoner of the moment shit yeah everybody's no, gonna no, be excited no, if not that. right now no, not, not that I don't think, I think right now, at least to me, it's not that, oh, Drake, make sure your bars are right when you come. Yeah. No, that nigga's just exposing shit out of you. You either got answers or you're exposing him yeah. or you're disrespecting him. And you have to do it with bars. We're okay, listening, okay, we're okay, not, okay. all right. The, the, the bars, the bars are required, required, it, it, right? That's what I'm saying. But here's the thing. That's not the thing that's making us side either side. What's the talking about? Because you got a us and I got a us. I mean, when you think when 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 you hear the conversation, whoever you talk to, your timeline, whoever, when you hear the conversation about this beef or whatever, mm -hmm. what are they talking about? All right, so we're we're hearing blackface, we're hearing baby, a lot of baby. Right. We're hearing oh, yeah. you got violated. We're hearing disrespect and exposal. We're not hearing like, oh shit, such a clever. Life. We do yeah. hear that sometimes, like oh, the border yeah, patrol. Doing Yo, question for you guys: Do mm -hmm. you guys really think Push's response caught Drake off guard? Did yes. he know what he was getting into? I don't, I don't think feel he, like he's at home starting from scratch right now, right? I, he had I, to have been a little bit prepared for this. I don't think that Drake knew the angle he was going to take. And the whole thing about the uh, the whole thing about um war is that you have to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Mm -hmm. That's with just everything in life. You got to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So 
I think that this shit kind of caught him off guard because I didn't expect for Pusha to start attacking the whole shit of the child and the, him being a deadbeat dad or the, the whole Adidas shit. I didn't expect any of that. Now that he has, like I said, Drake has to go back to the OVO sweatshop, right? He got to get his shit together. And I'm waiting for the diss. I'm not sitting here like, oh, nah, man. Drake, it's nothing Drake can say. It's absolutely something he can say, but I don't know what he can say about Pusha personally. Mm -hmm. But I know that if he doesn't have a lot of personal shit to say, then he has to be very clever and disrespectful, and he got to say it the right way. The whole When we watch Battle, Battle Rap, it's all about how motherfuckers present it. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's... it's so that's the thing. So we graded them on bars, right? right. And then also the whole package, the invoice, the cover art, et cetera. Right. So does Drake lose some points for this, responding on Insta story? Yo. <laughs> uh, he should have wrote that shit with a letterhead the same way he did that invoice. <laughs> not on no fucking, not on your notes in your phone. Yeah. And, and screenshotted it. And oh, exactly. <laughs> you should have put that shit on the letterhead the same way you did with everything else. But I, I'm... This whole beef is, is dope. I didn't expect none of this for hip hop, so it's just ill that we got something like this going on because we used to beefs being only um, recorded responses and uploads and crazy captions, not actual rapping. Yeah, it's great that Push is not an internet baby. Makes this way more entertaining. Mm -hmm. All right, so he did speak to Funk Flex about this beef. Um, he sounds pretty confident that there's no chance Drake is dropping a better album than him this year. Let's take a look. Real estate got a little weird for him. And, a lot of things coming. A lot of things Sorry, coming. Well, and and I'm going to just be all the way honest with you. Like, and not even on no, no funny, nothing. Like, I'm sure he's going to, you know, put out an album that does numbers and so on and so forth. It wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, great. It was not going to be better. It's not going to be better than Daytona. I'm sure it's not going to be better than like Ye's. All right, so Push also says that you can't really put ghostwriting on Kanye because he's primarily a producer instead of a rapper like Drake. Uh, first of all, do you agree with that? What's up, Ad? I agree with it. I agree with it. But it still looks hypocritical of him poking at Drake for that, knowing how your camp gets down in relation to creating music with or for Kanye West. Mm -hmm. So, again, if it was anybody else, I would say, listen, you're right. And by the way, I never get at Kanye for that because Kanye, I believe he's unique and he's afforded. Um, and by the way, the way how Kanye approaches that, mm -hmm. where he gives credit, he gives opportunity. Very open source. Yeah, it, it feels like he's really trying to put these other people on and he's not coming out on some arrogant shit like I'm the best and Drake just be on some arrogant shit on some put me up there, I'm top five, but I ain't two to five, I'm number one. So yeah, nigga, we gonna have some a little bit different stipulations, but Pusha T, why you admit that you should have already uh, addressed the fact that if we're just being honest, we could point out uh, a couple things with Kanye West too. Yeah, well, yeah, Kanye is primarily primarily a producer, mm -hmm. right? He's never went for the number one guy in rap. He's going for Disney, Apple. I'm Steve Jobs. Like for he's the greatest of all time. Greatest of all everything. time to create, mm -hmm. like as far as creation, and he's trying to go in that route. Um, when you, in terms of like producers, you don't put JD or Swiss Beats or Dr. Dre in the same category as you do rappers because a lot of them have had pen help, right? right? Now we do know that Kanye West has wrote, written a lot of his raps, but he does use help. As far as Drake, Drake is, he came out. We're we not comparing Kanye to like Swiss Beats and JD though. Like, I mean, Kanye has dropped, Wait, and also Kanye. Why not? Because Kanye, even when he was producing, before he ever had a chance to rap, he made it very clear that he wanted to cross over and be a rapper. Right, and a lot and, of those and, other people they right. rap as producers, but you could tell that that wasn't their main thing. Kanye been a rapper too. Like, I'll, I'll give him it equally. Kanye is a producer, but Kanye is a rapper. Let, let's not he's act a like but no, he's no, a but producer Jay, that happens Jermaine, to rap. Jermaine Dupri is a rapper as well. Like Jermaine Dupri had an album since 1942, I think. It was he got three classics him. in a row? Like, like yay, yay. He's no, he don't got... I, I wouldn't I say, say he has classic. Of him, but. He, he has a catalog of him rapping that's classic. Money Ain't Thing is a classic song. He got a lot of classic records with him just rapping. He rapped along Jay-Z. He's rapped along the greats. Even Dr. Dre. He got songs with Snoop Dogg, Tupac, all of that. I just mentioned Dre, but Exactly. Still. So what I'm saying is, is that with, with, with in terms of with Drake, when it comes to the writing, we didn't... It, if that shit never came out, we'd have never thought about it. Like, we'd have never thought that he was getting help. Yeah. But now that we found out that he's getting help, 
you do put him in a, a different classification. Only thing with Drake is that he's not a producer. He's never tried to produce. You never heard about Drake trying to do a beat, and I'm pretty sure that he's probably worked with 40. Right. So, so are you are you alluding to the thought that if you are a producer, you're you're allowed to get help? It feels like you're you're kind of given a, a an exemption. Well, I do exemption. give I give somewhat of an exemption because we've never there's there's plenty of producers. Like I said, you have to compare Kanye to a Swiss Beats because the first thing you ever heard from Kanye in mainstream music was his beats. You didn't hear his raps first. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the Kanye produced on the Dynasty album before you heard him speak. Yeah, and I understand with that too, but like, I mean, shit, J. Cole produces too. Like, I'm, I'm, but I, J. Yeah, Cole, but it's but different That's though. different because J. Cole was producing no, no. his own beats to no, no. rap on. Yeah, but having that like criteria to kind of give, give him the exemption, I feel like that's where, the, the only criteria that I give him that exempts him from all that is not that, oh, you're a great producer and of course you should, no. is the fact that, hey, you make great music and you've never claimed or was trying to be a top tier lyricist. The, right. the ghostwriting thing only matters. Like there's a bunch of songs that Drake makes that are not like lyrical or whatever. Right. If but, those are written and we know like Magic Jordan supposedly gave the hook for like, hold on, we're going home. We don't yeah. give a fuck. I mean, he's singing serious. the hook on hold on. Hooks are different, but I think this is an excellent point by Pusha, period, right? We've always it known is. that Kanye gets help with his lyrics. I don't understand why people but, ever But Kanye ain't no true. top tier lyricist. No, of course, and he never, and he, even exactly. if he's to be, no one takes that five seriously. Artists. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, but, but of all time. Artist. Of but all not, time. Not lyricists. But, and not just rapping, just you know, all artists. But when, when you think about writing, it only really, this shit, people wrote for Pac. Like, Pac took shit from, like, who cares? Wait, what, Pete, what, what, somebody wrote for Pac? Well, not like wrote for Pac. All right, yeah, you, 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 wait, 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 Pac, wait, hold up. We're Pac, not going to leave this just Pac was, Pac was very open in saying that when we, when we were recording music at a rapid pace. He said, pace, he would give me, he, no, what Pac said was, when I record and I'm feeling something, we don't waste no time. I can't come up with the name of the song, you come up with the name of the song. I can't figure out what my album cover's gonna be, bro, you come up with it. He bro, never said- Hold on, hold on, hold on. He never said Obviously nobody that, helped me with no, no bars, ever. Okay, from what I got when, when, when he was explaining all that, it was like, listen, what? when we get in the record, I get a record from whoever, like, okay, give me this hook, whatever. I'm moving quickly because I'm trying to get all this shit done. Again, not necessarily, Write me a verse. Yeah, I think we gotta but separate hooks from. Like, you gotta separate lyrics. a hook. Listen, Those are not the same. You gotta you know, separate however, hooks however, from bars. however, it's all a part of it. Drake it's is not all a part. A hook and okay. a hook and bars is two different things. Clearly, two it's totally two different, different things. But but don't you don't see Drake trying to explain away his sins? Of course, he's trying thing? to explain everything because he's against the ropes. No, he <laughs> he's didn't. against the ropes. So he not, Drake ain't never explained nothing to no fucking no. body ever. Did you listen? Yeah, I'm listening. Drake, Make even when. Uh, Quentin Miller came out. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, like, yeah, like, he just gave, like, the, the idea of the song. You know what I mean? We could equate it to what Pac was saying that. But clearly... Oh, no, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, because we... No, 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 if yes, you, you heard Dear Mama... No, no, wait, 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 If you heard Dear yes, Mama... Yes, you can. Yes, you... No, go ahead. Get, make yes, your point. You I'm gonna make mine. Go ahead. Yes, you can. Go but ahead. Drake doesn't get an excuse because we, we look at Pac different as an artist. Mm -hmm. Kind of maybe in a way we look at um, Kanye. We don't look at him like the Nas's. We don't look at him like the Jays, the Biggies, when we think like these are the the, the, the best lyricists. Drake or, or Pac? People no, no. consider Pac. Are you, if are we're you talking kidding? about best lyricists. We're talking about Tupac Shakur? The, as lyricists? Like the best yes, lyricists? Yeah, yes, yes, he, yes. He's in every. A lot of people. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking he, kidding he's me? He's the best hip hop artist to me of all time, but I don't so think I, he's the best lyricist. The, one of the best lyricists. So my question is this. He's right? a, he's, is he in the top five best lyricists? Pop? He's in the top five artists of all time. But that's not lyrics. I'm talking about because lyrics. of lyrics. Yo, the argument I'm making is so going over your head. I'm it's saying not going the over only my head. reason why Drake will get fired. You just Cardi, did bad with the, you no, no. Did bad hold with on, the hold Cardi on, hold B, on, hold on. Cardi B when doesn't is... get Cardi B just got exposed. Nobody Cardi cares B. about you, Cardi B. Oh you're not writing God. your own lyrics. Yo, you know why? You're not a point. lyricist. Drake, you're a lyricist. You claim to be the best with the pen or one of the nicest ever. And not too Kanye yet. never really claimed that he's the nicest with a pen. He's a great artist. We have a lot of great artists that never wrote this shit. I think Diddy's a great artist. However, no one talks you should about not bring up a, a lyricist. Yo, um, Tupac and that. You should not bring up Tupac in that. Tupac is not on my top lyricist. Oh, uh, he maybe wasn't the best example for this, but I feel like fundamentally we sort of agree here, right? I don't know like Drake Lewis says, Kanye like, producer, this just went Tupac in. And Cardi I'm, B and <laughs> nigga, I'm saying we have lyricist, and then we have people who just make great records right. and we enjoy. And we agree. Yeah, so it's just like a Cardi B. If we hear Cardi B didn't write it, fuck it. If we hear Nas didn't write it, what? Right, because he you get me Cardi the same. But but with uh, one last thing, I'm only saying this because you brought up Tupac. We've never heard that Tupac didn't write something. 
We've never heard that. But but ever getting the help. But getting the help. No, no. But wait, never, we can't say help with help. hooks is writing. That's where this gets That's like a little. Drake is. Well, 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 hold on. But Drake is using that little weird thing. Oh, I'm getting he- like like what is that? So so all right but all right. So Quentin happened, Miller saying we... oh so so Quentin Mon- Quentin Miller saying um. Old, old money, new women got to keep a balance. That's the same as a hook. Yeah, it's not hooks. That's, that's the not same. a hook. The no, hold on, I'm not defending Drake on that, but I'm giving the example of why you. Know, we started at talking about Kanye West. You guys are saying the only reason why Kanye West doesn't get that that um, that focus is because he's a producer. I'm saying no, that's not what it is. Kanye is just not no lyricist. That's what I'm, I agree so, with you. It's so, not so, the so, only so because reason. so because he's not no lyricist, so that we got to exempt him from 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 that. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, okay, we got to accept so that. So you're you're so just when, caping no, for a different reason. No, I'm not. It's not that I'm caping. You brought you when the you Tupac use thing is where points, we yeah it got yeah you 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 went left with that shit because like I said, if we would have heard a reference track for Dear Mama, Dear Mama don't mean the same shit to us the same way. And Dear Mama is not the hook. We're not dancing to Dear Mama. We're listening to the fucking words. That's the point that I'm trying to make to you. So you can't say, when we, in terms of lyricism, I'm not talking about lyrical, miracle, miracle, pericle. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about words. If you're talking about lyricism and lyricist, Tupac is not only a lyricist, but he's a poet. Okay, okay, that's all cute. All within okay. words. No, don't say it's cute no, because no, then you brought up no, Cardi no, no, B. No, no, you brought no, up no. fucking Cardi that's B. That's all cute, but even, even when talking about lyricism, right? Yeah. Like, Drake lyrical records are not the shit we heard the reference tracks for. Let's be honest, right? The lyrical, the lyrical shit is a two birds, one stone. It's a f- it's four a.m. It's not, but we talked about, all right, is it's it going not? left, it's going really left, but we talked about a hook versus the first four bars. That's what we're talking about. Now, with, with Kanye, right, he said everybody chimed in on Jesus Walks or whatever the case may be, or different songs. Mm-hmm. When we're talking about in terms of Drake, we talking about the first four to eight bars on ten bands. Like those is not just hooks. Now he, what I said about Drake is still not a lyrical wait, song, but we get it's, I, not, it's not a lyrical song. What we talking about Drake is is Drake took Quentin Miller's lines and made them into better songs, but he used those lines in his sixteens. So don't just equate it to a hook. It's not just a hook. And then, like I said, with the Tupac shit, we've never heard. A, a, a hook, a hook that dad said, yo, I wrote that hook. Mm-hmm. All, everybody's still, still alive that right, work with pop music. Guys, is. listen. All right, I'm just, We're going guys. in circles. We're, we're yeah, still we going over the point. All right. You're bugging. He, but. The reason why he is in a conversation with Pusha T is that we really feel you could you, you could go bar for bar. And So then why am I wrong when I say he has to rap? No. And this is what I'm saying. Rapping. You guys Hold actually no, agree, so he's but you're just I'm just attacking saying that, this at different I'm angles. just saying that when, when you're trying to say, oh, well, we heard from Quentin... Those are not what defines Drake as a lyricist. Like, it's not like if we heard a reference track from 5 a.m. in Toronto, yes, trust me, Drake is. So, you don't think, all I'm saying is, you don't think it's possible that somebody could be throwing lines every now and then? Like, we, we haven't heard it, but you don't think that somebody could possibly be there with him when he's doing the 5 a.m.s? And I'm not saying that that has, that has happened, but. If that happened with a lot of artists, though. All right, all right yo, let's it. move forget on. It. Enough forget of it. this. Yeah. Um, let's talk different. about Daytona a little bit more. Right. Just as a project on its own. So he's saying there's no way Scorpion's going to be better. Do you guys think this is a very strong album? Knowing what Drake will put out. We've heard a few singles from him already this year. What do you guys think? I mean, I heard Pusha T and, and his uh, breakdown of Drake won't put out a better project than his. And by the way, he's an artist. He's supposed to say that. Like, so it's like, oh man, I can't wait to. I know that's what I'm out. saying. Independently, how strong do we feel like this album is? His album's good, uh, and again, for uh, a audience, like his audience, his audience is gonna love it. Drake is gonna give the all-in-one album that's gonna appeal to everyone and a little bit of every part of society. So I believe that Drake's album will do what it, what it does. It's hard to compare both. You can't compare a Drake. You can't even compare a Drake album to a Kendrick album. Because Kendrick album always seems a little bit more focused. Drake album's like, all right, we need a couple pop songs. Let's show them we can still rap. Oh, let's show them we could like we're still in Atlanta. Like it, it's a little bit, it's a mixed bag. So it's hard to compare both of them. Uh, it's gonna be up to the individual to see what you enjoy more. Okay, um, of course, like you said, Pusha T is supposed to say that. I don't expect him to say, you know, I know I just dropped this shit, but Drake shit gonna be harder than mine. It's like you know, I don't expect him to say that. In terms of Drake albums. Um, I always feel like Drake albums are too long, myself. Like I feel like he puts too many tracks, and it's a lot to take in because he jumps so many different places, which is dope. 
as with artistry, mm -hmm. with, for what he does. Um, I don't know if it, I, Pusha did a lot in seven songs. He did a lot in seven songs that we didn't think would happen. We like seven songs. That's an EP. We are not gonna look at it as an album. I think that it's a very good project overall, and that's what he's talking about. When Pusha's talking about in terms of um, better, I think he's talking about in terms of what, he, what the impact will be in the hip hop community, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to with Drake, like you said. He's gonna do the numbers, this shit is appealing to all types of different crowds and all types of different people. But in terms of the hip hop community, it's gonna be received in a better space. Right. I don't know if Diddy is gonna, you know, and Diddy word still counts for a lot of shit, yeah. right? I don't, don't know if Diddy's gonna be saying, yo, Drake, this shit is a classic. The same way he jumped out and said that Pusha T, T shit was and what it meant to him. Yeah. And how I mean, many other people was like, yo, the bars take away, and just, not just infrared, but the bars from top to bottom, just the whole overall direction, the production, um, how he came with it, the Whitney Houston photo, mm -hmm. all of that in terms of impact in the hip hop community, like I said, for the barbershops and the corners and the motherfuckers on the street that's debating this the same way we are. I think it's gonna mean something to them more than what Scorpion will mean to that crowd. But overall, we know what Scorpion is gonna do. Word. All right, so of course, Pusha T took shots at the whole family, including Drake's dad, Dennis Graham, who's finally broken his silence, but for some reason, he's going at Wendy Williams here. So of course, she did a whole segment on Drake and his baby, et cetera, et cetera. So here comes Dennis. You know nothing about Drake or myself. Do your research before you try and be funny to your 79 capacity audience, RuPaul Jr. Watch <laughs> how you speak on my name. I lost all respect for you Today. Of course, there was much more disrespect in this post that I will not read. Is Jake's dad directing his energy in the wrong place? Yo, <laughs> this shit is hilarious because I I met Drake's dad before. He's a very, very cool guy. Um, he's here for the smoke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, with Wendy Williams? With Wendy Williams. You cannot, I mean, you can't I, battle Wendy. Come you on. can't battle Wendy Williams, but you know, he had to direct this shit somewhere. I think he just seen Wendy and just thought. All of that shit came from her. He probably didn't listen to the push your track. Nah, he heard it. You heard he heard it? He heard it. it. It's it's this was a very telling sign. It reminded me of when Meek was under attack and He put the uh, picture up. Well no, no, well not only that, I don't know if y'all know, Meek has his family on Philly be on Instagram and they go in. Like everybody <laughs> they they're they're like, where you at? I wanna fight. Yeah, that, like the energy it, it it told me that Drake doesn't probably have a full control of the situation where his fam and everybody involved says, we ain't gotta say nothing, Aubrey gonna handle this. Mm -hmm. um, he was upset, right? Now, clearly directed and Wendy didn't respond, saying, what the fuck? You ain't got time for this. You, you, you're, <laughs> mad, you're more mad at me than Pusha T. Oh, the RuPaul, uh, he was hard. Yeah, he's clearly, <laughs> it's, it's misdirected energy, and it just shows me, yo, there is some trouble. That's at the, at the OVO Palace, right? Yeah, at the OVO uh -oh. Palace, man. <laughs> At the... Yo, shit got shaken up. Like, I didn't expect shit to get this shaken up. And you know what? Honestly, Drake and them might be all sitting back watching this and watching everything like, oh, they're bugging. Like, we're about Wait to Until they see what we got coming. Yeah, up. exactly. Just, just but like, right now... And by the way, it's calling a spade a spade because I said the same thing when when I seen Ryan Fest and, and Kim K going, I said, Drake sets y'all niggas up. Y'all fighting, like, <laughs> fighting like this is a real family feud. Yeah. Now we see Drake pops like, yo, you... Like, he's all mad. But... So, Again, everything's playing into Pusha T's favor, yo. Uh -huh. Pusha T's he's, actually almost Drake and Drake. Yo, he's almost on the best promo run of all time right now. Right. Um, the thing is, is like he was attacked as a father, you know. So of course, like being a father, even myself being a father, you gonna say something. You like, gonna be out here name calling? Yeah. You know, <laughs> up in the Instagram con comments talking about RuPaul Jr. Right. But somebody gotta tell him to chill out, man, because you know what? You don't want more shit to come from that from somebody else. Because like once. Once everybody starts jumping into the conversation, then you leave it open for slander. That's one thing I learned about this shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, but another thing that he should know, and again, I'm only saying that he should know just because, man, Drake is son, and you see how Drake moves, you gotta almost take a little part of that. You can't show your body. Like, you show your body, it's like, oh, we got him. It's hard, him. though, man. It's, it's, a, nah. it's a very tough time. Hey, 40 did a great job of responding, right? Right. National yo, MS Day. Yo, 40 Shout out to 40. It, he did it perfect because he, he shed light on his condition. <laughs> and then it, it probably brought... I, I didn't know it was International it was MS Day. That was a perfect day. I didn't know he had a day. And, and let me tell you this. And, and you want to know when the tides is turned? When... If I, I was say, I said this to him yesterday. I said, man, that line about 40 is so disrespectful. And everybody don't give a fuck. Right. I saw him tweet about it like uh, 40 was like, damn, it's ironic. Like, tomorrow's international. I love that. And, and everybody in the comment section was like, 
That's what you get. Tick, tick, tick. I was like, serious? yo, yeah. Now people go crazy. People are ruthless. But, but you know what? Like, it, when people are ready to mobilize, they're ready to mobilize. They don't give a fuck what it's about. Because when Troy Ab got disrespectful on some other stuff, which I didn't agree with either, mm-hmm. like, people said, yeah, you know what, Troy, this is way, we don't fuck with you anyway. We, that's the thing. When people like you, they excuse you. Yes, they, they <laughs> when like when you. they don't like you, man, Troy, did you say that bullshit? Get the fuck out of here. But now we want disrespect. We yeah, want to push your to bring it further. Wait, but this is why I said Drake got to be disrespectful, because he even said some shit about Cuddy and his mental health and what he was going through. He threw some shots in there. So it's not above Drake and it's not below him. He got to just go. Like, that's it. Yeah. All right, well, look, the good music promo run continues. So, of course, Pusha T's Daytona album cover features a photo of Whitney Houston's bathroom littered with drugs. Kanye apparently spent 85K of his own money to clear this photo at the last minute, and Bobby Brown is really feeling a way about it. He told Rolling Stone, quote, that's really disgusting that he would do that. It's in bad taste. Something should happen to Kanye. Very dark line, by the way. He's already <laughs> crazy. I knew that when I first met him. Now he's pushing the bar a little bit. He needs somebody to slap him up, and I'm just the person to do it. Now, Whitney Houston's estate also issued a statement saying they were very disappointed, but of course Bobby Brown was going to take it to the next level. Did you guys feel like the cover was too much? Um, I really still don't know how to take the cover. Mm-hmm. Like to be honest with you, I really still don't know how to take the cover. Um, of course Bobby Brown is going to say that. That's mm-hmm. you know that was his wife. They had a child together. He lost his child as well. Right. You know, to drug abuse. Mm-hmm. So, w- w- what did you interpret that cover to mean? Uh, addiction. I, I, I interpret it to be addiction because when you think of when you think of the bathroom, Whitney Houston died in the bathroom, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. She died in the bathroom. That's the bathroom supposedly. That's the bathroom. Um, it's probably a place where she, you know, medicated herself. Um, I didn't re- like I said I really didn't know how to take it. A very very smart point of a, po- uh, a very very smart place of me was like that's kind of ill, but then I was like, oh that's tough because. If it was done anywhere else, like if it was um, a Project Staircase, mm-hmm. where a lot of people who pass away the same way Whitney Houston did, and their stories aren't told, we wouldn't feel, we wouldn't even think of it. Right. We say, oh, people shoot drugs in the in the staircase. They had loved ones too. They can't speak out because it's a, a celebrity. There's a little bit more sensitivity there, and it's Whitney Houston who was an icon, right. you know, and a trailblazer. Did a lot of things. Um, so. I really didn't know how to take it, but I feel Bobby Brown to a, to an extent. But at the same time, if you don't want shit like this to happen and you in that type of light, you got to own the rights to stuff so that people can't yeah. do things like that. Yeah, yeah, but, but I still think that's, that's in poor taste. You know what, like, again, when someone passes away, and really in any manner, you get me? I don't even like when people be taking pictures of corpse and all that. But, but still, like, that moment you got to realize is, uh, or that picture probably brings the family back to a very to that moment. dark moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And while you're trying to use that picture probably for something else, mm-hmm. you want to show probably the worst effects of addiction and where it could lead and and obviously play into what you're going to talk about in your album. Yeah, that's now a constant reminder uh, for the family. They should at least, and apparently didn't own the rights, so they kind of paid someone yeah. else for it. Mm-hmm. But if you ain't, you got to get the, the family's blessing, okay? Or you got to give them a heads up. You can't just do that. So when I see the family now, who, when you see Bobby Brown saying that, yo, he's expressing hurt. Yeah, yeah he's, he's kind of hurt saying, damn, Kanye. Like, would you, and, and then I throw, I throw the opposite thing. I know, I know you about to go with it. If, if someone did the same thing with his late mother, <laughs> would, <laughs> would, would, would that be in poor taste or could then they spin it to say, hey, we want to show or highlight the effects of what Hollywood or, or, or this image-driven world we live in okay. actually could do. With that being said, it's just like... My line is that no. Yeah, like, not with, with that being said, it just seems like there's nothing that's exempt anymore. It's like, it, it's like you almost can't do anything about anything. Yeah. Because, okay, the estate, they took the eight... What would Kanye want the picture for? Like, that's the thing. Okay, they didn't tell him that he was going to do that, but we're talking about in terms of a person that creates everything that's visual. Right. So that shit could have ended up on a shirt. It could, it was going to end up somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he wasn't getting getting the rights to the photo so that he could just keep the rights to the photo. So y'all took that 85 bands, right? Now, what, now wait a second. No, no, but, but apparently, like, that's what I'm saying. It's not the family that owned it. Yeah, it's not the family. So so it, it, was, it was someone else, but the family doesn't own pictures. But even the state said that, right? The, the, the people that... 
let him get the rights to it that they said that something about it being they didn't know that he was going to do that that what he was going to use yeah, but they're not the family or they're not the family so, so like if something but happened, even still but even still because they control that like so it has to party yeah it has to be a th so it has with sampling right mm -hmm. for sampling why you think we've never heard an Aaliyah sample on anything right so her family is state because her, because her family does not clear shit they don't care how much you grew up on her and loved her and all of that they don't and everybody's wanted to sample an Aaliyah record that's different though because the family owns her music the, the, this picture again it was probably taken by some photographer it could be an investigator right who the, the family never will own that unless the, the family yeah. but it's not right. just the family because the, the label owns parts of the master recordings as yeah. well. So they have the music rights, but I don't know, especially with like, yeah, photos, usually the person who takes it owns it and you have to buy the rights from them. Right. So we should look into this a little bit further, but right, you right, right. guys do agree that it was a, line, kind of, it, a line was probably crossed. A, a line was probably, because it, 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 it brings back so many things, like, you know, Bobby lost his wife, he lost his, um, his daughter, he had an addiction problems. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been recovering and he's been taking it, you know, moment by moment. So it probably, it, it did stir up a lot of shit for him, so. Yeah. I could see why he has that that sentiment. And personally, I know like at, when I saw it, I was like, I, I don't even post when, when posting anything about data. I don't even post that album cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just because like you also got to remember, um, Bobby Christina, like th that was this is probably a triggered moment that led her to her situations. Right. And you can imagine for Bobby Brown now, it's a it's a domino effect. So my my another thing is this though, in the because we always you and you've taught me this when me working with you about trolling. You know, in the in the land of trolling now, is this like a major troll? Was that a major troll move by Kanye? I would hope not, but it seems like he's a lawless man at the moment, right? So he said Trump made him realize anything is possible. It feels like there's no rules for Kanye at the moment. Right. I feel like he's gonna have a a, a big way to explain why he did that. But I don't his know. His explanations if we're gonna... are nonsense. Right. No. Well, well, honestly, I was looking to push a T. It's your album. I mean, I I get that Kanye is the executive producer, but no, I'm looking at you because if what you're trying to represent on the album is not in congruence with the album cover mm -hmm. and you didn't think it needed to be that extreme and graphic to represent it, why? I don't care if Kanye's saying, let's do it. Yeah. Tell a nigga no. Maybe it would have been better for Kanye's album after everything he's been through, everything that, you talked to Charlamagne well, about. That would well, actually well, be well, more well, fitting. That would have been crazy. But I mean, look, now that it's Pusha T's album, I mean, this is all, all I can say about this at this moment in hip hop from Pusha T's album to the beef to the um to the cover this is the most that like people have been engaged mm -hmm. with him in a long time i mean he's dropped two albums prior two, on good music two great albums two great albums so like me this is just moments you know i, I mean i don't know why <laughs> that shit got okayed but it's a lot of album covers and stuff that was controversial that got okayed mm -hmm. that when we look back we always remember those times and it might bring up different conversations yeah so who knows all right, let's take a little bit of break from the drama right now and move on to some good news, finally. Uh, Offset buying a car for the man who he says saved his life after he totaled his own car in Atlanta earlier this month. This is my boy, Jamal Cole. Saved my life when I had that accident. He was, he, he, he was the only one that seen it, helped me get out of the car, helped me walk to get to where I had to get to. So I bought my boy a car because, you know, he was walking to work. He was walking to work when he saved my life. God, good. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good all the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got my boy a new car. He was walking to work and he saved my life. One good Samaritan rewarding another. This right. is really sweet, I think. Yeah, that was really dope. Shout out to uh the dude that saved All Set Rock in the KD shirt. <coughs> he tonight. did that for the culture, yo. You know what I mean? You. <laughs> tonight, tonight is the NBA the NBA <laughs> final start, you know what I mean? But um I think this was really dope. That was really dope on Offset's part. I seen a lot of people say a lot of stupid shit like, yo, you didn't get him the Lambo. Or, like all types of stupid shit. You know what I mean? Right. But this is, this is definitely a certified pre owned though. How you know? It doesn't matter what if it's a glitter like a new car, bro. It, it, but it doesn't it doesn't matter if it was pre owned or not. The man was walking, mm -hmm. right? The man was walking to work. He seen offset. He saved him. He got, now he has a form of transportation. I've been to Atlanta plenty of times. I never see people walking anywhere. So he's probably walking a long route in order to get there. And if Plus he wasn't, see what happens when you walk in Atlanta? It, it, that it, do, it do matter though. It do, what? It do matter what? a little bit. You know, you know what matters? No, no, not that really the car. Okay. Nigga, don't be throwing it up on the gram unless you're giving that nigga a foreign, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. What I'm talking about is that 
And and this this is an issue. Like you can't be showing off millions of dollars in jewelry. That's no, stop, stop, stop it, stop. Because he don't owe him nothing. He don't. He didn't have to buy him know, shit. I didn't say. I didn't say that. I'm not, I'm not criticizing the purchase. I'm criticizing putting it online. Like, Why not? He could have did this shit and just be like, yo, this is a shout him out. Don't be showing off the car because when you showing off all your cars, it's the same thing with the, with a thousand dollar donation to. Oh uh, okay, no, it's I not. Understand, I understand. I understand why he, why, why people are saying stuff. I can't. I'm take not saying. Act. I don't have no problem with him doing it, but I understand why people are saying stuff because you know why. People are saying shit because they're fucking stupid. I get it, but maybe he also—it wasn't no. just about people, no. Maybe he just wanted to show this guy some love. Here's the man who saved my life. A foreign, really? And show up and show off. All right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, stop it. I don't even nah. want to go Internet. there with you. Nah. nah. All right, let's nah. move on to Mac Miller, man. All right, hot or nah, Mac Miller's finally back, but I think he dropped this in the middle of the Drake Pusha thing. It was weird timing. Anyway, this is his first new music in two years. Let's listen to a snippet of Programs. Yeah. I don't got a reason to lie. They gave me the key to the sky, but I'd rather open my eyes, cause that's what'll keep me alive. Something that sees in my mind, please do not fuck up my day. Everybody want a headline, I don't got nothing to say. I really like the Divine Feminine. I don't know if that got a ton of love, but do you guys feel like Mac is underrated? Does he get the credit he deserves? Uh, except for that Jay-Z tweet, whenever that was last year, when he was shouting out, Great black I mean, I people and put Mac Miller. Like, I ain't hear shit from him in a while. I, I said it's been, it's been a couple years. Yeah, I haven't really. He's been having a rough time. He had a DUI recently. He has a song called Donald Trump as well. That was like one of his well, biggest records. Mac Miller, I, I, like when he was active, I used to think he was underrated. But yeah. the only thing I've seen him, any with like Ariana Grande? They broke up. Oh, they did? I, I mean, I, 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 I have to listen to the whole entire record, but it sounds like... It's not like he, some Migo shit, man. He, he, he used Migo? the flow, like he used, he used the flow of today. He used the beat the up today. The flow of today. Yeah, he I used like the that. flow. Just call it the Migo flow, Like even though Bone Thugs are disagree, but call it Migo. No, it is a Migo flow. You know what I mean? But I, I said this as well. You know, got to credit my man Skipper the Flipper a little bit, a little bit because Skipper the Flipper had a lot of those flows as well. But um, it just it. I seen that sound coming, like a new Mac Miller song. How's it gonna sound? Sounds like right now. Yeah, not for And you. I'm not used to that from Mac Miller because he's always had his own kind of space, you know? Very but true. Salute to him for even putting stuff back out. You know, it's been a while, so maybe he could get back into the game because he was leading, like, the the white rapper renaissance at one point in time. <laughs> white rapper. Well, you know, honestly, I, I never, like, his audience, there's certain rappers who their audience, like, I have a hard time kind of, like, picking out. And he's one of them. He's great. He's great at rapping, but like the people who are drawn to his music. Yeah, I don't know who his fans. I don't are. really know, but I'm glad he's back. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Shame. I do. Yeah, I do. Got no. I, I got a pet peeve when rappers like disappear when they got, get in a relationship, man. Oh, I hate it, man. I really hate it. Bro, so, not everyone loves to be on the internet all day trolling. I no, guess. what I'm saying is that you're a fucking rapper. I don't care who you're dating. Put music out. How old is Mac now? Uh. Maybe late 20s? 28, probably something like that. Yeah, it's got to be late 20s. And I'm glad that he's back on it now. I'm just hoping he doesn't find another Ariana Grande. And they claim it's probably because he's 26. Oh, he's 26. That's not that's not old, but he now he feels like rapper years is like dog years. I ain't going to front. <laughs> now, no, it's some real shit. Rapper years is like dog years because, like, especially when you've been in for a while because people expect a certain amount of shit from you. And he got a lot fast. I mean, he probably was grinding for a long time before he got to it. Yeah. But when he got it and he got it big, he had a show, he had the big deal from Warner, he had all of that shit, and it kind of looked like he dropped the ball. But remember also, I think he had artist. some label, label issues. He right. talked about having drug issues. I right. think we have to give people space to go through personal Absolutely. shit. We're Absolutely. humans at the end like of the day, right? Career, All right, on to the next topic. Some quick hits before this we get guy. out of here today. Right. Uh, Kanye West hosting an um, album listening session in Wyoming uh, Thursday night. Is that tonight? Can anyone explain why? Does it make sense to have an album listening in Wyoming for a project that comes out the next day? Or um, Anybody going? I don't even know where Wyoming is at. Do they have a sports team? I don't even know where it's at. I don't, I don't know anything about Wyoming. There's really bad chicks in Wyoming, man. There's mountains out there. You love mountains and it's trees. Probably, it's probably Jackson definitely Hole, no. is that? Huh? Jackson, uh, that's a city? Um, it must be, actually. Jackson Hole. Jackson Isn't that Hole, a restaurant? Really? All right, you guys. And Kim, <laughs> Kim Kardashian went to the White House on Wednesday, so the reality TV star made a case to Donald Trump on behalf of a woman serving a life sentence for drug offenses. Now, this is a good cause, but I just don't know that anyone feels Kim is the person to talk about prison reform. Anyway, Trump seemed happy, tweeted a nice picture with him. Yeah, tweeted a nice... When I seen this picture, it made me immediately think of Lupe Fiasco's song, What Would Jesus Do? He probably laughed out loud, like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> like for real, that, that's the, that's the line I thought of when I seen this picture because never in a million years would I think that I'd see um, Trump and Kim Kardashian. That is that the Oval Office? I'm I don't know. I thought it was. That's the Oval Office. Man. I mean, that kind of threw me for a loop. The whole thing with Kim Kardashian going to talk about prison reform. I think I know the person that she's talking about who does have a crazy case. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, is that it's so many other people out here doing so much different groundwork. And it affects so many different people. And if Kim Kardashian, you know, would have reached back to a place like Chicago where her husband is from, mm -hmm. and we talked about how it, because her kids are black, mm -hmm. let's keep it 100, her kids are black. If she would have reached out to a person in Chicago with all of this Donda shit that's going on Word. and how it's affecting people, because the, the woman that she is helping is a black woman as well. Yeah, Alice Marie Johnson, so she's 63 and she's been in prison for more than two decades, not eligible for parole. So again, a good cause. Yeah, a good cause. I mean, it's a good cause, but it's just like, when I see Kim Kardashian, nothing says prison reform. Yeah, and nothing, fi nothing says that who she is is speaking for the people that's really crazy affected by the shit, you know? Well, listen, for, for all you little Thoughts on I'm Loving Hip Hop. This is the height of of, of uh, reality show, <laughs> like, stardom. You get me? You and the, the, the White House. But I, I want to give credit to Kim Kardashian. I'm really never interested in anything she's into. But she's been trying, yo. She's been trying, like, in the last couple of years, I'm looking at her a little bit different. She still does the thirst straps, and she still get naked every two months. But she still is trying to, like, be a little bit more conscious of what's going on. She seems like the same one between her and Kanye. Which, I don't know if this was a plan, because we're looking at Kanye like he's the Kardashian. We're looking at her like she has a little bit of a level-headed perspective of how people are struggling in the real world. So, her doing this, even some of the tweets trying to explain whatever with Kanye and, and um, the, I don't know the about that. organization. You know, she, I mean, of course she's holding her husband yeah. down, but it, it felt like she, she was trying at least to give perspective to something that, if, if I'm just reading what Ryan Fett said, like, yo, wait, Kanye said, fuck Chicago? And fuck the kids, it, it looks weird. And um, Is this a PR move What for that? Mm. This is might this a PR okay, move for that? This might all be a PR move, but I, I always say, you don't really look a gift horse in his mouth, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, Kim K trying to do stuff like this, I ain't gonna knock it. Yeah, I, and I'm, actually, I'm, if she keeps doing this, he'll probably change my perception of her a lot. I, I can't knock anybody trying to help somebody, but in, in the same sentence, it's like I know people, I have a friend that's doing life in prison, I, I have a lot of friends that's going through prison systems for shit that they've done. I'm not gonna say my friends are just the greatest people in the world, they didn't do anything wrong, but um, they've gotten a lot of unfair sentences. And I just feel like, you know, like I said, for a person like Kim Kardashian, who's tapped in, you know, their family affects hip hop culture in a lot of different ways from their show to their product with Yeezy and all that other shit. Right. You, gotta, you gotta hit the ground, like you gotta be on the ground. You, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with her going to the, to, the, to the White House, I didn't foresee this coming, but if she really wants to do some shit, hit the ground in Chicago. Go see what them, them young brothers and sisters is going through. And, and, also and, and maybe she will though, you know what I mean, like again, but she has a person whose prison reform is so important to push a T. Like, that's a great person for her to connect with. I hope they've at least had a conversation. I don't think he'd be going to the White House to No, of course without, he shouldn't go. We don't right. want to see him anywhere near and, Trump, and, but... Right. And that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to knock her on it because I'm hoping that, yeah, hopefully she'll get to the point that she does that. But yeah. as a first effort, even though, shit, that's a huge leap. That's like going to the championship before playing the preseason. <laughs> <laughs> but... I, I'm gonna give her some credit. I'm gonna give her some. Credit. I'm gonna give her some credit too. Right? But I, I'm, I'm, I also gotta look I'm a, at I'm it. I'm also hoping she ain't fumble the ball. I'm, yeah. all, but that's what I'm saying because I don't know who she took with her. Because she can't just be speaking on this solely by herself. That's why I'm looking at this shit with a side eye, like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. You feel me? But hopefully, hopefully something good could come out of this. Because like I said, you know, prison affects a lot of people, specifically people of color. Right. You know, and um, let's see where this goes. Absolutely. All right, guys, that's our show for today. We'll be back Monday. Hopefully, we have a lot more to talk about this weekend, right? Yeah, hopefully, too. You New music? Man. Yeah, yeah. Kanye, man, let's not forget, we will not get distracted that Kanye got violated by Drake. <laughs> Okay. So what did Drake get? Drake got violated. Okay, too. then just make sure it's equal opportunity violation no, 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 no. for what? all people. However, Kanye's coming out with an album. Right. Okay. Push already dropped his. He's gonna say so. Wait, I feel like Kanye gonna say something. Do you think he went back in the studio and edited, or is he gonna drop this project and keep Better editing? Better edit that shit. While he, every time Drake responds, he's gonna go rap. back and Actually, edit a song. Rap. I would. I if, don't rap. if I had the if I had the special power of rap, I would. I, hey, I would go back and edit. Everybody shit. going to Wyoming, man. 
listen, I know they say no cameras or whatever, but don't drink capture, the juice. Capture that goddamn rant that Kanye about to do. Yeah, he's about to rant. They did invite me, but I, I right. got Fortnite tournament too. Much. You got Fortnite tournament. I thought you were gonna say that. All right, y'all. Just, just don't get caught in the wrong hood lacking, man, with all that red on, B. Man. <laughs> you guys have an I'm excellent weekend. Man. We'll see you Monday on Everyday Struggle. Peace.